Hello friends, welcome back to the new tutorial of the Next.js. Today we are going to learn about the infinite scrolling using the Next.js 14 and the Prisma. So those who haven't subscribed my channel yet, please do subscribe my channel. And if you like the video, please do like, share and comment on my video. Let's get started. So here you can see that this is infinite scrolling. And if I put this one F12 and let's reload it. Okay. Then we will go with the scroll down next api will call with the response of the next 11 records and this is you can see that the local host okay the request parameter is there now 20 records is the 30 next api is call then we call the next api is call 40 the next api is call 50 then no api call okay so this is how the main component render and how we call the api or using the prisma okay let's have a look of the code so for if you don't know how to generate the prisma and all i will show you where i have created everything okay so here we go with this one so npx prisma init prisma generate when npx prisma gen int started it will go with the prisma migration in the schema dot prisma you make make sure to make the model like this okay make sure you have to change the mysql and then in the env make sure the connection is correct okay then we have to create in the source action fetch user.js okay what commands you have to run in the prisma that is first one for the initialization of the prisma then you have to generate the prisma schema then we have to go with the migrate to generate the table into the database okay so now a source action fetch users.js you have to create the file for the prisma for the pagination part so initialize with the we have to import the prisma client then initialize the prisma client then this is the api where we require the page and the limit user id we don't require because we have skipped it so this will call that is prisma product find menu with skip and the take okay then return the products if something goes wrong it will go to the error block next one that is the page that is the app page.js file where we have the component and the card component also so where we have the design of the card okay so you make sure you have to on the top of it you have to mention the use client use state use effect and the fetch products action fetch users and the card this is the card component for the design part so this is how we have designed it which requires the title description content whatever you want to send you can send and this is the style okay this is done move to the page.js so here we have initialized with the states that is data page and the is loading okay then next one that is load more data so whenever i just scroll up it will call okay load more data so set is loading to be true more data fetch with page with plus one record assuming the fetch products function supports the pagination console log may more data will be logged and here we are set the data and the set the page and the loading whenever there is an on scroll we are calling the load more data okay and then we have a use effect for the initial data to be rendered for the fetch products initial page one with a page 10 okay then the last one that is use effect window dot add event listener scroll event listener we have added and return the remove event scroll when the is play loading and the page is over okay then we have a return component where we have a data to map with the id title and the description okay and meanwhile whenever we scroll it will go with the is loading loading with the more data okay that is the indicator you can mention and then export the default home so this is how we are able to able to get it that is how infinite scrolling using the prisma next year's 14 any doubt any query in that do let me know in the comment section thank you so much for watching this video have a great day and don't forget to like share and comment on my video have a nice day